we have a number of buildings that we, we, we are holding for redevelopment. We've just come out of um, very tough times. Uh, in, 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 in perhaps the, the biggest issue there was, was COVID. Um, that thankfully is, is behind us. And, and accordingly, we've started dusting off all those plans that we previously had for, for fixing up these buildings. We will now dust them off, as I mentioned, and, and start relooking them to make sure that we can achieve sustainable product um, given the tough economic conditions that we still find ourselves in. But that's very much a new thing, a lot more confidence we have in the business than was the case two years ago. We've been able to uh, focus on our tenant. We've been doing this for a long time and make sure that both our product as well as the management team that connects with the tenant give them what they want. Um, I think those that rent from us um, are aware of this premium service that we, 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 we supply and accordingly we find that um, a lot of brand loyalty, uh, we build a lot of communities within the areas in which we operate. We believe that we're as good as our tenants are and we need to know what our tenants are telling us. A lot of work goes into making sure that we have the necessary communication channels with those tenants, uh, especially to the residential tenants, make use of these channels, talk to us and we'll do the best we can to make sure that you're comfortable in your homes that we've created for you. We have started increasing our rentals. We've seen positive rental reversions. So every time we negotiate a lease, it's now going on a 6% increase. Sometimes at a rent freeze, but with escalations between 6 and 8%. So we have been pushing it. So you see a 3.2% increase in rentals, but that's obviously over a period of time. But we are seeing an improvement there.